Unlocking the mystery of crux move in English. Hello, and welcome to our English learning community. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind the phrase crux move. If you've stumbled upon this term in books, movies, or even in conversations and found yourself puzzled, you're not alone. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how to use it effectively in your own conversations. So, let's get started. The term, crux move, originally comes from the world of rock climbing and refers to the most difficult part of a climb. It's that one move that requires the climber's utmost skill, strength, and focus to progress. However, outside of climbing, crux move has been adopted metaphorically in the English language. It's used to describe the most crucial or decisive point in a process. Imagine a moment where everything hinges on a single action or decision. That's your crux move. To really get a feel for how crux move is used, let's look at some examples. In business, closing a deal might be the crux move that determines a company's success for the year. During a chess game, sacrificing a queen could be the crux move leading to checkmate. In a suspenseful movie, the protagonist's decision to confront the villain is often the crux move of the plot. Notice how the phrase can be applied to various situations where a pivotal action or decision is at play. When using crux move, keep in mind that it's a noun phrase. Here are some tips. Pair it with verbs like make, is, or was to describe an action or situation. It often comes after words like the or a because it's a specific moment or move. Crux move is typically used in formal or dramatic contexts. Let's practice with a sentence. In the negotiation, the crux move was when we offered extended warranties. We've reached the end of our exploration of crux move. Next time you're in a situation where you face a vital decision or action, you might think to yourself, this is the crux move. I hope this video has been insightful and has added a new phrase to your English toolkit. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use crux move when the moment is right. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.